Hello, welcome to Strictly Money at the News Forum, where all voices matter. I'm Sajal Patel. 57% of Canadian adults do not have a will, which means they don't have a say on how their assets will be distributed and possibly who will care for their minor children if they have any. Planning for one's death is still seen as a taboo for many, and for others, it feels simply overwhelming. Well, one company is on a mission to change this and also make estate planning more accessible for Canadians. Erin Burry is CEO of Willful, and she joins me now. Erin, it's great to have you on. Thank you so much for having me, Sajal. So, Erin, you know, I, I see these stats. I, I understand why so many people don't get it done. Um, but like you, I really try to hammer in the importance of getting one for, for obviously some of the the reasons that I listed, um, and many more. Can you talk about the importance of a, of a will? Because you must have so many stories of, of what goes wrong. Absolutely. I mean, my husband and I launched the company because we lost a loved one unexpectedly. And we saw how difficult it was to wrap up someone's life when they hadn't put the time into documenting their wishes and discussing them with family. So really the importance of a will is that, as you said, it gives you a voice after you're gone. It says who's going to wrap up your estate. It puts someone in charge of taking care of any minor children or pets, because not everyone has kids, but a lot mm -hmm. of people have furry friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says who's going to get your assets when you pass away. And if you don't have a will, uh, the governments and courts are going to make those decisions for you. Yeah. I mean, you make a point, right? Like in your experience, why don't people get wills? Do you think it is a taboo or do they think that the courts are, are going to take care of it and it's, it's all going to be good? I think there's two things. First, people think it's very overwhelming and complicated to create a will, so they avoid it. They think you have to gather your net worth statement, all of your finances, that it's going to take you, you know, weeks to get done, when in reality, it's a few key decisions and a very simple document that can take you as little as 20 minutes. The second reason is people think, I don't need a will because I'm not old or rich. <laughs> and in reality, everyone who has any sized assets and any people who rely on them, whether spouses, children, or pets, should have a will in place. Yeah. Um, obviously, you and your partner, Kevin, um, you recognize that there was a gap in this. What was the catalyst then for you to start Willful? So after we lost a loved one unexpectedly, we looked at each other and said, you know, we were in our early 30s at the time. We had a home, so we had a large asset and we didn't have wills because, you know, we just didn't have a lot of education about it. So that was the catalyst. And really the reason we launched Willful is because we didn't want to go to a lawyer's office and pay $1,500. We did everything online from investing our money to booking travel to ordering Ubers. So we thought, you know, there has to be a beautiful, elegant online solution solution that can help Canadians get this done for a more affordable price. And when we didn't see it, we decided to launch it. Yeah, wonderful. So, so walk us through how this do-it-yourself process works with Willful. Yeah, so I think there's a misconception that you have to visit a lawyer to get your will done. And in Canada, that's simply not true. What makes a will legal is all about you creating it and how you execute and, and witness that document. So think of willful like TurboTax for estate planning. We guide you through a series of questions about your life situation, and we help you appoint the key people in your will. We then provide a customized document that you can print and execute uh, in all provinces except BC, where you can actually do that online. Okay. And um, if I understand, because I've been on your website, there are sort of three different packages. Can you, can you talk about that? For sure. So our, our $99 package is just a will. So that uh, includes free updates in future. Our middle package is 149 and that includes a will and both power of attorney documents. And those documents outline who should make decisions for you if you're still alive, but incapacitated due to illness or injury. And then we have a family plan that essentially just doubles the number of documents in that middle plan. So if you're creating a will with a spouse or family member, you are both protected. Okay. So there's a will, power of attorney, it sounds like. Yeah. And other living documents. And, and um, does willful help guide people if they if they get stuck? Absolutely. I mean, the key difference between us and going to a lawyer's office is we're not a law firm and we can't provide legal advice. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a team that can help provide legal information. And, you know, whether it's phone call, live chat or email, we can help people through the process. And we have a great learn center on our website as well. So even if you're not sure if Willful is the right fit, you can go to willful.co slash learn and just learn a little bit more about what's involved with creating a will in Canada. 
Okay, so um, sometimes it does make sense actually to, to get um, maybe a financial planner involved or a lawyer involved, but um, they can talk to them and then and then use this use this these this process. Welcome back, um, Aaron. If someone decides to use Willful, it's it's um, it's not as simple as just completing a template, right? Yeah, you do have to choose your beneficiary. You have to choose uh, your executor. Can you walk us through um, your advice on both? For sure. So when you're creating a will, you're essentially making three key decisions: who's going to be my executor, who's going to wrap up my estate who is going to get my assets, and who is going to take care of any minor children or pets. When picking an executor, you want to think about the three Ts, time, territory, and trust. Who has the time to actually wrap up your estate, which can take 12 to 18 months? Who do you trust with that? You know, you really want to have the trust that they're going to execute your wishes and be your voice when you're gone. And is it someone who is in close proximity to you? Because there can be tax implications if you choose someone outside the country and they're going to be dealing with all of your properties. So the closer they are, the easier it would be for them. Uh, when you move on to beneficiaries, that's simpler. That's who do you want to receive your assets? Typically, that would be spouse, children. It can also be charities, though. It could be a friend. Uh, so, you know, you can leave your assets to whomever you'd like, uh, but you do have an obligation to account for spouses and for any financially dependent children, uh, whether that's minor children or adult children uh, who rely on you financially. Uh, when you're choosing your guardians, that's mm -hmm. really about who do you trust to raise your children. I have a six-month-old at home. Mm -hmm. It's not a fun thing to think about, Sejal, thinking yeah. about who would take care of your kids when well, you're it's gone. It's an important one. It's definitely an important one. And that's really about what's the least disruptive to the child or the pet and who would actually give them the upbringing that you would most, uh, would most match your values. Okay. When, um, Aaron, does it make sense to go to a lawyer and not do it yourself? So I think visiting a lawyer is a comfort level and budget thing. So it makes sense to go to a lawyer if you just want to sit face to face with a lawyer and get custom legal advice, because that's not something you're going to get from an online platform. Yeah. Uh, and then there are complex situations that we just can't handle at Willful. Things like setting up trusts for children with disabilities or, uh, you know, creating a secondary will to divide your business assets from your, your main assets. So I'm not going to go through an exhaustive list, but if you're not sure, you can always reach out to our team at Willful. We're the first to tell you if we're not a fit and if you might want to get legal advice. Okay. Now, Willful became uh, the first company to offer a fully digital will in Quebec, uh, meaning that it has to be or it can be completed 100% um, online without the need to physically print or consult a notary, right? Um, BC now also offers a fully digital will. Can you, can you talk to us about the significance of this? For sure. So when COVID hit in 2020, we really saw that the traditional process to create a will was quite antiquated. It was paper-based. It involved printing the document, signing it on paper, and getting witnesses in the same room as you and having them also sign that physical document. Well, during social distancing, that was pretty much impossible, yeah. especially because beneficiaries of your will cannot be a witness. Uh, so this is really a step in the right direction to bring this process online uh, and and it's a direct response to the limitations we've seen during COVID. Uh, so we're really happy to see British Columbia leading the charge, first province to allow fully digital wills, uh, which means you can sign the will online, you can have it witnessed over a platform like Zoom, uh, and you can actually store your will online. So you could maybe email it to your executor instead of keeping it in that filing cabinet drawer in your home. Oh, that's so important, right? Because we know such documents go missing and people don't know if that's the last will or, you know, or, or where is it? So very important. Do you see, um, do you see other provinces moving that direction as well? Is there discussion? Oh. 
We've seen Quebec, uh, they have emergency orders that are related to COVID. So okay. we don't know if they'll make those permanent, but we're hopeful. And we haven't seen any movement from Ontario. Nudge, nudge, Attorney General Doug Downey. Uh, <laughs> I think this would be a really great improvement for other provinces because it's not as accessible for folks. Who has a printer at home in 2022? Let's be honest. And yeah. nobody's really heading back to offices the way they were. So I think this makes it more accessible uh, and encourages more people to get a will. And as you said, the majority majority of Canadians don't have one. So we need to remove barriers, not keep them up. Yeah. Um, uh, we're almost out of time. I, I do want to mention that you won or you landed a, a $750,000 investment from investors, including Dragon's uh, Den, Michelle or Romano, right? Congratulations. Um, what's your plan going forward? I know we only have Thank 10 you. seconds, but... <laughs> Thank you so much. Our plan is just to keep broadening outside the will to help Canadians with all of their pre-planning needs. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming on and, your, and for your insights, Aaron. Really appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Aaron Burry, CEO of Willful. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.